With any digital marketing strategy, you have to make use of analytics. And this is because you need to track if what you're doing is actually working. So with Instagram, it's a bit hard to do that because you only have one link in your whole Instagram page. And if you're a newbie on Instagram, then you have no idea how to track your uh, whether people actually clicked on this link, right? And uh, you can use something like Google Analytics, but a lot of times that is not very accurate because it doesn't really track well if people clicked on your link through your Instagram profile. Um, I don't know why it's like that, but a lot of times when we get clicks from Instagram, from our Instagram profile to uh, our website, uh, it, Google isn't tracking it. And I don't know if we're doing something wrong, but either way, uh, there's better ways to track it. And for us, we have special software in place that allows us to track whether uh, something is coming from Instagram. And the easy way to do that, though, is just to make your link here specific to only Instagram. So ampdasia.com slash magazine, that's a link that you can only go to if you go on Instagram. No one's going to click ampdasia.com slash magazine in their browser window. Um, so we know that whenever we see in our Google Analytics that we got a page visit from ampage.com slash magazine, that that came from Instagram. This allows us to track whether we should continue using the same strategies we have been using on Instagram or if we should shift to a different strategy. Um, so for other people out there, you know, one of the really good ways to track how many people actually clicked on your bio link is through bit.ly. So bit.ly.com. This is our bit.ly. This allows us to see a lot of the uh, bit.ly's that we've shortened. Um, this is actually the bit.ly for my Hyperlush account. I actually have a different bit.ly for Amped Asia. So I wanna show you it through my Hyperlush account because this is a brand new Instagram account that I just built and it's right here. Uh, obviously Hyperlush Magazine is a new magazine that I started to help entrepreneurs. We're also the people behind this course, um, me and my partners. We created this Instagram course for you guys uh, under Hyperlush Magazine. It's completely unrelated to Amped Asia, but it, except for the fact that I own both of the magazines. So the Bitly links allow me to track exactly how much traffic I'm getting from Instagram. So let's look at how I did that here. On Hyperlush, I have uh, as one of my call to actions on my bio link, it says read the latest and I have a Bitly link here hyperloo.sh slash d9 dash reserve. Now what's really cool here is that you can see that my bit.ly link has my um, domain as hyperloo.sh. Now our, my website is actually hyperlush.com, but I bought the hyperloo.sh domain just to use for bit.ly. And you can do that through bit.ly. Um, what you have to do is you have to go into the settings. I'll show you here and you have to go to the advanced and you have to go to the short domain settings right here and you have to set it up and things like that. So that's very easy to do, you, you can easily do that. So I won't show you too much about it, but what's really key here is how much stats you can check. On my Hyperlush account, I only have 200 followers. You know, I just started this account, I'm still grinding it out, but in one, uh, in three days, 200 followers got me 93 clicks on my bit link right here. So that's a pretty good amount of traffic for only 200 followers. Just extrapolate that by a, a thousand and then you'll see that, you know, that can be a lot of traffic. And so this is a very good tool because you definitely need to track how much traffic you're actually getting from Instagram and bit.ly is the way to do it. Um, and what's cool is you can also see other people's stats. So let's look at shreds really quick, right? So if you go to this link, it just goes to the shreds website, which is here, right? That's cool, you know, but if you actually add a plus sign to the end of the URL, like so, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but basically it's the same link, but I added the plus sign at the end. 
press enter. And I can see that this bit.ly link got 187,000 clicks. Now that is a ton of traffic that Shreds is getting from their Instagram. So, and they could probably be even getting more if they uh, did more call to actions within their posts. So this just shows you the power of Bitly because you just wanna be able to track how many people are clicking and what people are clicking what. And once, you're, once you have the uh, Bitly account, you can even see what is your highest performing links, right? So right now I can see that uh, I get, I got 93 clicks on my top link. My second link only got three clicks. So that kind of shows you, you know, what kind of content is really resonating uh, with my audience and what are people clicking on. And from that, you can use those stats to help uh, with your content strategy, figure out what you should post next and things of that nature. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this, uh, for the bio link strategy. Um, I think that's very important that you know how to effectively use the bio link. And I hope my last three videos uh, really helped you do that.